Is there anything you can do to shake up the lineup a little bit just to, just to get some guys' attention or maybe just try something a little different? I mean, back in the day, a manager would completely change a lineup, right, when a team was struggling. In the world of analytics, I don't know if that's going to happen, but I think you can make a legitimate case should Anthony Rizzo still be hitting where Anthony Rizzo is hitting. Uh, if I was Aaron Boone, you feel like you have to do something, especially after last night's game. I know Tyler Glass now was on top of his game, but that was a lifeless performance from the New York Yankees offensively. If I'm Aaron Boone, I got to be changing it up a little bit just to maybe, if not, get some production. You get you get the players' attention that we're just not going to roll the same lineup out there every day and hope it gets better. This is apples and oranges, but I remember covering the Yankees many, many years ago, and Paul O'Neill was hitting out of his shoes and was batting fifth. And Don Mattingly, who was the team captain and was obviously Don Mattingly, was hitting third. And Buck Showalter was reticent to move O'Neill up in the lineup and supplant Mattingly. And eventually the evidence was overwhelming and he had to do it. Guess what? The evidence is now overwhelming. You can't have Rizzo in that spot right now until he finds himself more. He did hit the ball hard once, but we're talking about a more than 50 game stretch right now where the average is under 200. He's only left the ballpark once. To John's point, you need somebody hitting behind Judge that is going to have more of an intimidation factor. Judge, since he came back, has walked six times. He has not scored in any of those situations.